Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. Tomorrow I'm going to have a really long ride to pick up a very important addition for my YouTube channel. If you're interested to see what the addition is, feel free to follow my Instagram and there I will post a few pictures so you will be the first one to figure out what it is. Because I'm gonna be busy during these weekends, I will not be able to produce any technical videos and that's why I have decided to record this short video to make your some small status update of what I have received and what you shall expect from me during the next weeks, what I'm gonna test and what I'm gonna record. First, I have received a package from Huanan.pl website, and here it's important to mention that even though it might sound a bit like advertisement, this is not a gift, this is an order. I have went to the website and I have ordered some motherboards which I need for my own YouTube channel and for my own business. I have paid for it and I'm going to use the motherboards the way I want to do. He did not pay me anything and he did not ask me to do that. So in the package I have got a few machinist or Clisre X99 version 201 motherboards and Xeon E5 2620v3 CPUs and one Tinsha X79 P3 motherboard. Why do I need an X79 motherboard? Well, it happened that I have got a Xeon E5 1650v2 CPU and I needed a motherboard. Since I was buying the X99 options and Rafal from Huanan.pl had an X79 board for me, I bought that one as well. If you're interested to see how E5 1650V2 with some overclock on this Tinsha motherboard compares to E5 2620V3 with a Turbo Boost unlock, let me know in the comments down below or text me on Discord and I will try to do some benchmarks and make a video to see if it makes any sense to make an X79 build in 2021. The X99 motherboard I am planning to use for two of my videos. In the first video I plan to assemble a budget gaming computer and what's more important I plan to use this computer for a week and then tell you my impressions. I have already got everything I need for this computer, I just need to put it together, film it and actually use it. In the second video I plan to do a comparison between Xeon E5 Mi Kunst Build Edition against a pre-built from HP or Dell back to Huanan.pl website. I'm very happy with his service, the package arrived in time, no damages happened to the package, everything was packed well and exactly how I asked it to be packed. Additionally to the Huanan.pl package, I have received another package with three mutants for LJ1151 socket. I have been asked many times to do reviews of these laptop mutants, but I was refusing all the time. Well, there are quite some complications in testing these CPUs. First of all, I did not have a single motherboard and I did not feel like buying those motherboards for the old sockets, searching for them, scavenging for them and then still risking that it's not gonna work out at all. But more and more people were asking me to test these CPUs, claiming that they are better than Xeons and so on. Thus, I have finally bought myself three different uh, mutants for the LG1151 socket and I'm gonna test them with multiple different motherboards. So, in this package I have got QQLS, this is an 8-core CPU with ability to overclock. Another one is QQLT, this is a 6-core CPU also with the ability to overclock. And the last one is QTJ2. This is a 6-core CPU but without ability to overclock. So this one is supposed to be something similar or equal to Core i5-10400F or Core i5-10400. I am not sure if the integrated graphics is enabled or disabled on this mutant. Unfortunately, the CPU is no longer on sale on AliExpress, but maybe in the future it will show up again. Nevertheless, I will try to test it and see what we can get with the different motherboards. For the motherboards I have ordered Gigabyte B365M D3H. This motherboard I have bought from a local store for something like 75 euros. So for the price of a Huanan G motherboard, I'm getting a motherboard from a local store with all needed features, with all warranty and with no Chinese issues. This sounds like a really good deal if these mutants are actually gonna work. The next motherboard is ASRock H110M DGS. This motherboard I also bought brand new from a store and it costed me just 55 euros. Just listen to it, 55 euros. This is cheaper than Machinist X99Z. This is even cheaper than Klisre or Machinist X99 version 201. It comes brand new from a store. 
And if these mutants are working with this Azrak motherboard, that would be a steel deal. According to the AliExpress seller though, only one of these mutants is gonna work with the H110 and that one is QQLT, so only the overclockable 6-core CPU is supposed to work on ASRock H110 motherboard. The same as B365 motherboard, this H110 has not yet arrived to me, so I cannot show it, but I'm expecting it to arrive somewhere next week or maybe in a week. And the last motherboard is Gigabyte GAZ170HD3P. This is like a typical motherboard which was used for overclocking setups back in the day when we had uh, Intel Core i7 and i5 6000 and 7000 series. So for example, I have got this motherboard with a very typical build from those times where I have got this Z170 motherboard, Core i5 6600K, and then it's paired with the NVIDIA GTX 970. Very typical setup from that time, but unfortunately due to Intel, we cannot upgrade CPU on this motherboard, at least not in any official way. That's why I'm gonna test what kind of performance can be achieved or squeezed out from this old system if first we upgrade the graphics card and second we install one of these mutants to unleash the power of LGA 1151. Oh yeah, the buys for all these three motherboards I have received from the AliExpress seller. And I have to say that the seller is responding very fast and very well, and he is very friendly, like I did not have any issues with him so far. Of course, I have not yet tested the BIOS, so after that I will update my experience if the BIOS actually worked or didn't work, but at least as soon as I demanded um, a modified BIOS to work with these mutants for my motherboards, he provided it extremely fast. So here I am very happy, and the link to the AliExpress shop will be in the video description. A few extra things worth mentioning is that I have bought myself Intel Core i5-11400F, it's traveling to me. If you're interested to see review and comparison of 11400F against Ryzen 5 5600X and Xeon E5 2678v3, leave me a comment down below or pin me on Discord, whichever you prefer, and I will try to figure out something and maybe make a detailed video comparison with all my 18 tested games and some workstation benchmarks. And the last thing is that uh, the Huanangju X99 TF clone motherboard, which is available on AliExpress under Chiyi the and Klisra name, has arrived to Sweden. It's still in the Swedish customs, so I don't yet have motherboard on my hands, but hopefully during the next week the motherboard will be here and I will be able to test it and provide you the detailed test results. For now though, that's probably all I can share with you. I hope you're gonna have a great weekend ahead. See you in a week or two. Bye-bye.